Well, their measurements are a shapely 38, 32, 42. They make for a voluptuous figure, but not necessarily one that you'd expect to be challenging for the Miss England title. But by being crowned at Miss Surrey, 16-year-old Chloe Mitchell has already taken the first step towards that goal. Well, she came in for a chat and told us uh, exactly how she felt when she realised she'd won. Um, it was really weird because they said that there was a runner-up um, and then they announced that it was Katrina that was a runner-up and I was like, oh. And then they said contestant number three is the winner and it kind of didn't click. And then when it did, I was like, oh my God, that's me. I started to cry. <laughs> and, uh, it was <laughs> All amazing. beauty queens cry, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> now you've got a gorgeous, curvy, voluptuous figure. You're not your stereotypical no. beanpole. Was that a conscious effort to do this? because you wanted to break through that stereotype? No, I'm really confident with how I look and I love my body and I mean, it's a womanly figure, so it's not like I'm abnormal or anything. Uh, but no, it wasn't really that. But it was weird standing next to skinnier models, uh, skinnier people that were in the competition, but I just felt just like them, so. There's a lot of pressure though on young people now in magazines and on television to have that sort of size zero look. I mean, what do you make of, of that sort of image? Do you think that's an attractive look? No, I don't. I think they look like death, to be honest, like size zero, right? when you just see them just in their bones. And little girls or bo and even boys that are looking at them thinking, I've got to look like that. So they starve themselves just to look like them. Whereas if they see healthier people in magazines and on TV, they're not going to be like, oh, I have to eat you know, eat nothing to look like these other people. Whereas if you see me like, on TV now, and I, I mean, I like my food, I eat and I eat healthily and exercise. So it's not like people can say that I'm promoting obesity, which I'm not. And of course, so. you're, you're enjoying a successful time as a model, aren't yes, you? Yes, I well? am, I love it. <laughs> What's that been like for you? Oh, it's been mad recently, but it's, it's just amazing. I mean, I love posing and being in front of the camera and the people that have been taking pictures of me are just really, they really like the, my look and everything. And they're saying, aren't they, now they're tipping you to become the next Sophie Dahl. I mean, that's quite incredible, really. Does that, does that make you feel quite excited? Would you like to follow that sort of career? Uh, yes, I would. I really, really want to follow um, plus size modelling and pursue it and everything, but I don't really want to fall into the category of, oh, is she going to lose weight uh, when she gets in the high life? And I'm not. I'm, I'm going to stay like this because, I mean, I'm proud of who I am and like what I am. So You look gorgeous as you are. Just very quickly, let just show us your crown. Oh, it's here. <laughs> wow. Chloe, we wish you the best of luck uh, with Miss England. And uh, we hope you'll come and tell us all about it uh, if you win. Thank you. I will. <laughs>